Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to use Adobe Audition to edit audio or video. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up a new project in Audition, how to set it to the audio for video editing window, how to import video and sound assets in, and then how to add these to your tracks. So a very basic overview of using Adobe Audition for setting up and doing some basic sound uh, editing. So. First thing we need to do when we open Audition, it normally opens in the default view. You can see up here it says default in blue. I'm going to switch this to edit audio to video. So this is the, the window layout that we want. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make a new project. So we're going to go file new and make a new multi-track session that we're going to name. It's going to save it in my documents folder. So click OK for that. Um, I'm going to set the sample rate uh, 44 100. So, here we go, got the basic multi-track view here. We've got our audio tracks going down the page. And the top left hand here, uh, we've got the video reference window, which is empty at the moment. Beneath that, we've got the import window. So this is where all our files uh, that we're using in the project will be shown. And we've got the history window at the bottom. Finally, down here, we've got the audio levels that will show us the sound levels for as we're playing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import in my video. Uh, to import, you can either hit Command I on your Mac keyboard or you can go File, Import, and File. So I'm going to navigate to where I've saved my movie, which is in my Movies folder. And it's here, nightof.mov, and I'm going to click Open. That's imported the movie into my Files window. I can now drag that onto a track. And when I release, it will make a video reference track with the timeline slider, and as I move it along, we can see that in the top left hand side now we can preview the video. So if I hit play, so I'll just hit the spacebar to play. So now we've got our video imported in and on the multi-track session, what I'm going to do now is import in all of the sounds that I need. So I've just got some basic sound effects here. And it's imported them all in. Uh, if I want to preview one, uh, I can just double click and it opens up in the waveform window up here. And I'm just going to turn the volume down, it'll be quite loud. So there we go, there's our music track. So I'm going to go back to the multi track view up the top here by clicking that. And I'm going to drop my music on track three. And likewise, we can preview by double clicking, uh, or if we're happy that we know what they are. We can just bring them straight in. So it's very quiet there. So we'll have to make that a bit louder. So let's go back to our multi-track view. And now what we can start doing is syncing up parts of our video um, with the sound effects that we want to add in. Now, as I drag this over, it's going to preview this audio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute the soundtrack for a moment, the, the music. Let's drag this over until the first zombie appears. So, if I wanted to use the male zombie raw, let's preview that. There we go, perfect. So, now let's go back to our multi track view and drag that zombie raw over. I'm going to zoom in on the timeline, uh, the tracks even, so using video talk, and by hitting the little zoom in option down the bottom here. And I'm just going to get rid of that last row by hovering my mouse over the end of the clip, dragging it over. I only want those first two. Perfect. So we can then start to drop on different sound effects that we want. So let's preview this one. So we'll add that in. Put that bit there. And it's going to we can shorten our clips. So now if I, um, if I play this little bit, 
play it in the spacebar, you should be able to see that we've now synced some of our sounds to our video. Now, it's not going to be perfect at the moment. There's lots of things we want to do. So we will want to master uh, all the different track levels to change the volume of each track to help some sounds pop out, especially when I unmute this music. Um, you struggle to to hear those sound effects under the volume of the music so we need to master the levels of the music down or the sound effects up so far too loud um, so very easy way to do that um, in another tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the uh, latch and touch options to keyframe our audio volumes up and down but for now I'm going to look at track 3 and this icon here shows the volume of the track so I'm going to bring the volume of that down and I can bring it down as it previews that's better and then I can make these other ones louder by dragging the volume of these up So a very simple way to master our levels there, just using the track view. Uh, not the most efficient way or the best way, but for some simple sound editing, um, we can use those. So good luck. Hopefully now you understand how to set up a new project, import audio video, and to start to arrange it um, on the tracks and edit uh, those clips and that video together. Uh, I'll see you for another tutorial soon.